Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the Potomac Curling Club. This is the finals of our annual Cherry Blossom Bond Spiel. As you see now, the, uh, we have the ceremonial pipers leading the finalists out onto the ice. We've got four wonderful games lined up for you tonight, today. And, uh, but for now, let's enjoy the procession of the curlers. Very well done by the Pipers. You should turn around with your tail. <laughs> so as you can see, we have a uh, we have a sighting by the Easter Bunny. That's uh, Matt Gallegos from Ardsley. He'll be in our A event finals. They pass out the traditional shots of Drambuie or ginger ale. Traditional toast to the pipers. And with the ceremony is complete, it is time to curl. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's give you the rundowns of our four games today. Uh, first off is the on all the way over on sheet A is the uh, D event. That's going to be uh, Team Anderson, which is a Potomac Broomstones team, uh, skipped by Carl Anderson. Uh, they'll be facing Sweeping Beauty and the Beasts, which is a Potomac team skipped by Bob Purcell. On sheet B, that's our feature sheet today. Uh, that's the A event finals. That's uh, the reigning Cherry Blossom Champs, a Potomac team skipped by Richard Chin. Uh, they'll be taking on John Noble and his Ardsley team. Over on sheet C, uh, Heather, could you? Oh, yep. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, sheet C, you've g uh, we've got uh, Team Hamilton coming out of the Curling Club of Virginia, skipped by Travis Hamilton. And they'll be facing Broom Shooter 2, skipped by TJ Burkett, uh, out of Columbus. And finally on Sheet D, that's our uh, C event final, 
It's the Hackheads uh, from Triangle Curling Club in North Carolina, skipped by Lance Wright. Uh, they won earlier this morning. Uh, they'll be facing another winner from this morning, Team Dobbs from the Curling Club of Virginia, skipped by Michael Dobbs. But let's go ahead and get set with our featured sheet today, sheet B. Um, P uh, Potomac, Team Chin, uh, won the toss. They elected to get the hammer. And Team Noble uh, chose yellow. So they'll have the first throw. Uh, the skip is John Noble. Vice is Matt Gallegos. He is the, uh, the gentleman in the Easter Bunny costume. Oh, I'm good. Uh, the second, Joe uh, Pinella and lead, Dave Wagenheim. Uh, Dave now in the hack, ready for his first shot. I have to imagine that curling in the costume is is tricky at best. Yeah, I think so. I think the hood might get impede your vision. First stone is away. Sweeper's on it already. It may have come out a bit light. No, that looks heavy. Richard already working, and he is able to push it out. So perhaps a little miscommunication there on the first stone. Uh, the Potomac rink, so once again skipped by Richard Chin. The vice is Hunter Clausen, second uh, Caleb Clausen, Hunter's brother, and the lead is Eva Chin. So a real family affair here. Eva in the hack for her first stone, looking for a corner guard. The Clausen brothers. Hovering. Hovering, but not sweeping. This looks like it's going to be in the house. And looks like it's going full eight, uh, maybe about a foot and a half in front of the T line. Uh, solid shot. Solid first effort by Eva. Uh, John Noble wasting no time calling for the hit for Dave. Super staying close, but so far the line's okay. Now they're on it. <laughs> Following it all the way down, and a very nice hit. Uh, shooter will roll out of play. Yes, Potomac Ice, especially on the first end, tends to be a bit frosty, <laughs> so they'll need a little bit more than they were expecting. Clausen Brothers is now actually switching brooms. Hmm. That's interesting. Interesting. Evie getting ready for her second stone, uh, looking for a corner guard this time. Hunter on it early. Now both Clausen's coming on. And a very nice corner guard by Evo. All right, Joe Pinella in the hack now, the second for Team Noble. Looks like he's looking for a draw. Weight looks all right from my angle. Maybe a little heavy. Rich is going to work to try to get that out of play, but it's going to hang around, biting the top or biting the back eight. So yellow color is currently sitting one. Uh, still a lot of stones left uh, left in play though. Uh, Caleb Clausen now getting ready for his first stone. Caleb representing Maryland at uh, Nationals this year, yeah. Caleb and Hunter. Uh, they did very well. We were really proud of them. Yep. Sorry, my homerism is showing. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb shot us away. Uh, start with a light sweep, but now they come off. Back on again, looking to draw around that uh, corner guard. 
And just able to get around. Oh. Now they need the uh, finish, trying to bring it as deep as they can. They're only biting the top 12, though. Uh, yellow is still sitting one, and that stone is fairly exposed. Joe in the hack now for his second shot. And it looks like they'll be going after that, uh, that first stone by Caleb. Plenty of room. Uh, I'd say that stone's about three quarters uh, uncovered. Looking to come across the center line here. Already, Matt sweeping. Looking to ride that curl. They're around the guard, and a nice hit. Also able to avoid the jam. So Yellow's still sitting one. I believe Richard called for a hit here. Is that right? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see. I was looking at the camera. Not a problem. Uh, no, he's looking to draw behind again. A looks a bit lighter than the last one. Sweeper's on this pretty hard. Uh, they should be able to hold it around the guard. No, it's going to crash. No, it just ticks. They're going to drag it as far as they can, though. Um, yes, and they're able to bring it into full eight. Red now sitting shot. Uh, unfortunately, they are completely exposed. And John once again calling for a hit, this time from his vice, Matt Gallegos. He might have come out a bit wide, uh, relying on the curl. There it goes. It should have no problem with the hit. And yes. Shooter doesn't, is not able to stick around, though. Yellow's still sitting one. Now, Caleb's older brother, Hunter Clausen, in the hack, ready for his first stone. The Clausen boys are so quiet in the hack, just incredibly smooth coming out. Able to get around the corner guard. Dragging it as far as they can and just to the T line, just in front. Uh, Red now is sitting one. Uh, they're still fairly well uncovered, though. Uh, I'd say two thirds to three quarters is uncovered. Uh, Matt should be able to, to get this. Shots coming down. It's not curling as much as they'd like, but it should be enough. Oh no, oh. it just flashed. That's a tough break for Ardsley. So now Richard and Hunter have an opportunity to uh, throw something else in the house or guard up the uh, their shot rock if they so desire. Shots away. Hunter with a very, very late release. But he's so controlled. Sweep coming in now. They're around the guard, and looks like it's going to be just a tap off theirs. Um, they accidentally pushed their redstone out to the right, and it's close. I'm afraid I can't tell right now who is uh, second shot. But red is definitely shot rock. And it'll be fairly tough to remove that red rock without jamming on the yellow. Uh, they'll have to hit it from the outside. And that looks like the plan. John coming back down the ice.
John coming out of the hack now. Shot is away. The line looks all right for now. You need to make sure they hit the outside of that rock. Oh, that's a tough break. Unfortunately, knock their Yellowstone out. Now red sitting two, I believe. Yeah, red sitting two. So lots of options here for Richard. Hunter putting the broom slightly to the left of center line. Looks like he's going to try to draw behind again on the uh, right side. Shots away. Looked like he pushed it a little bit. <laughs> but so far, it looks all right. It's around the guard. Let's see if he's able to sit on his uh, back one. No. Didn't curl enough. Matt working very hard, and he is able to get it off the rings. Still in play, though. John now coming back down the ice. Uh, looks like he'll be calling the same hit. Uh, tightening up the broom a little bit. As unfortunately, there's no real way to there's no way to get both of the red stones out, so it's going to be a hit, and then Richard will have a hit for two basically. Shot is away. Supers are staying close, staying off of it though now for though for now though. Now they're coming on. And looks like a pretty solid hit. So good job by John Noble. But now Richard has his hit for two. This is the hammer for the first end. Richard out of the hack now, and the shot's away. Supers on this quickly. Keeping a close eye on it. It looks all right, though. And that is a solid nose hit. And that's going to be two red in the first end. So after one, uh, Team Chin leads two to nothing over Team Noble. Skip sharing some pleasantries on the near end of the ice. All right, as we move on to the second end. Would you mind switching the overhead cameras for me? Oh, yeah, no problem. All right, thank you. Uh. Evie coming out of the hack now. Richard calling for the classic center guard. Looks a little heavy, though. Caleb looking to work it closer to the center. And it'll be just past the tee uh, into full back eight. A little deeper than Richard would have liked, but it's certainly a serviceable stone.
John Noble now calling for corner. Corner guard. Swoopers working on this, but they need to let it curl a little bit. And it's not curling nearly as much as they thought. Is going to just tick into uh, into full twelve. So red's still sitting one. Uh, Richard calling for the hit on that yellow stone, uh, looking to flop over just a little bit to the left, see if they can guard up their uh, their shot rock. Eva looked like she pushed that a little bit, so they're going to have to keep an eye on this. Caleb now on. Looks like it's going to be a nice nose hit, able to avoid the jam. So Red now sitting two, but both shots are completely uncovered. John elects to go after the stone in front. Looking to come from the outside. Considering the general lack of curl, I think this is a good move. Shots away, and so far so good. Starting to move quite a bit now. But it looks like it's going to be a nice solid hit. Rolls over just a couple inches over to the left. Richard's more than happy to play the hit game. Uh, his team is are solid hitters. Caleb coming out now. Looks like a solid shot. Very little sweeping needed. Eva sweeping that shooter off to the left. Uh, sitting, just biting the eight foot. Red sitting two, um, making it, making it double very tough. John Noble now setting up on the outside of that stone, uh, looking to, I believe, come across the face of it. If he's able to roll into the second stone, I think so much the better. Matt cleaning, now sweeping. Just trying to finesse that stone exactly where they want it. Ah, it's a nose hit. Couldn't quite get to the inside of it. So yellow sitting just biting the top eight foot there. Red still sitting one, and looks like Richard's going to attempt the same shot, looking to hit on the inside and roll to the right. Uh, cover up that shot rock if he can. Supers have a close eye on it. Back on now. Looks like they're going to get the inside of it. How much roll will they get? Uh, too much roll, as it were. Uh, now sitting in the, looks like just touching back four. But I believe if you hit it thin enough, the double's there. And I think they're going, I think uh, John's going to go for it. Uh, setting up for Joe Pinella for, I believe, his second shot. Waving his sweepers off for now. Now jumping on. And it's just a nose hit. Uh, able to get one out. Uh, rolled just a little bit off to the right. Red still sitting one. The 
Vooch now setting up for the hit as well. Here comes Hunter with his first stone. It looked a bit light out of his hand, but his strength can surprise you. This looks like it's going to be a very nice stone, uh, hitting just to the inside. Mm, nice. Not a lot of roll. Um, the double is there, but it's still very tough. It looks like John is electing just to go after the, uh, the new shot rock. Now Matt Gallegos in the house, or in the hack. Sorry, in that costume, he looks like he should be in the garden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, very nice hit. They get one, just missing two. Richard able to sweep that out of play. Well, it's still in the it's still in play, but out of the house. <laughs> Perhaps useful as backing later. Richard now calling for a a uh, a draw to try to protect that shot rock. Looking for something around top eight. Super's on this very, very closely. I'm not sure there's going to be enough to get to the house. No, they dragged it nicely. They've dragged it into the house. And in fact, all the way to the top four. A very nice protection. A really, really good shot. Matt's setting up now for his second shot. Looks like they're going to try to run the red back onto uh, the other red. Uh, see if they can pull. See if they can knock both of them out. They a nose won't do it. They'll have to hit just off center. Either side is okay though. It's a bit hot, and it looks like it might be a bit wide too. Let's see if they'll get the hit. They got one, but not able to run it back. So red's still sitting one as we uh, get ready for skip stones. Richard heading down the ice now. I imagine he's going to try to put back that last shot. Uh, quick updates for you. Uh, on sheet A, Team Anderson was able to take one in the first uh, with the hammer, and they now lead one nothing over Sweeping Beauty and the Beast. Uh, oh, my. On sheet C, yeah, who is like yellow over on sheet C? Can you tell? Um. Looks like that's the Virginia team with uh, Travis Hamilton to skip. Uh, yeah. They took five in the first, so they now lead five to nothing. Uh, Richard's first stone coming through. It looks to be pretty on point, maybe a little heavy. I think you're going to have to play a freeze yeah, that's a, that's a good and one. putting it just parallel, but you could throw one right at the middle of them and split them both out. Mm. Over on sheet D, as we set up, over on sheet D, uh, the red team, which is uh, Team Dobbs out of CCVA, uh, were able to take one in the first. Uh, it was a steal of one. They currently lead one nothing over the Hackheads from Triangle in North Carolina. All right. John Noble getting set for his first skip stone. Uh, as we suspected, he'll be looking to put it right into... Uh, the middle of those two red rocks. <laughs> with that ice, he'll need to come at this with some heat. A 
Oh, they're on it quickly. I think he was a bit narrow than he would, a bit more narrow than he would have liked. <laughs> and it's starting to move off that center line. They're able to hold one and roll right in front of the second one. They weren't able to get two, but still a very, very good result. Uh, those two stones appear to be maybe a couple inches between them. Less, certainly less than a foot. Uh, it will be tough to get the yellow out without jamming on the red. They'll have to really skinny it on the... Uh, on the uh, left side, as you're looking at from the hack, uh, right side from our vantage point. And even if you do skinny it like that, you're almost definitely losing your shooter. shots away and sweepers on this very quickly I think it might have been a bit narrow looking to hold this line and doesn't look like they're going to be able to do it mm -hmm. unfortunately it's a jam and both red stones go away yellow now sitting one so John Noble's got some options here does he split the house does he try to protect Looks like he's going to. Is this the hammer? Oh, apologies. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> I had momentar I had momentarily lost track of time. He has all the options now. He basically needs to touch paint and get his two. This is a, a great time for John to practice his draw. Shot is away. Super's on this quickly. They want to make sure that they're touching paint. Now it looks a bit light though. They're going to have to work hard yeah. at this. It's close, but it looks like they have gotten it. Yeah. Well done. Uh, two wow. points for Ardsley there. And after two ends, uh, the score is all tied up, two to two. Again, do you mind uh, changing oh the yes, I got it. Over for me? Thanks. Sure. Here we go. First stone is away for Dave Wagenheim. The sweepers are dragging it right over to the uh, center line, and a very nice center guard. Richard asking Eva for a corner guard now on the left side. There it goes. It wasn't curling a whole lot off the center line, but once it hits about mm, halfway to two-thirds of the way down the sheet, it really starts to take off. It's a little heavier than they'd like, and John is not quite able to sweep it out. Uh, it is in play, uh, biting the back 12. John wasting no time going for the hit. He is looking to limit the number of stones in play. Very aggressive here.
Dave, the lead, sending it on down. So far, they uh, they like it. They're not sweeping it. And looks like it's going to be a very nice hit. Shooter rolls out. And we've, we're back to a clean sheet. Eva setting up for her second shot. They're looking for another corner guard. Definitely a bit lighter, uh, perhaps too light. Clawson Brothers on this quickly. Now letting it curl. It's definitely lighter and just barely coming into the house. <laughs> Not quite full 12, we're pretty close. Uh, quick scoring update, uh, Team Hamilton over on Sheet C uh, from CCVA was able to steal one in the second and build on their lead. Uh, they now lead 6 nothing after two. Uh, we'll get the other scores to you uh, as they hang them. In the meantime, Joe Pinella is readying his next shot. Looks to be a solid hit here. Rolling off to the left, though, I think they were hoping to roll to the right and get stay in the house. Uh, that stone is still in play, though. Didn't quite make it to the sideline. Caleb Clawson readying his next shot. I was just thinking on she day, the reigning CVU champs, uh, he's got another point in the second end. So they're sitting oh, no, two. It's far uh, away. Oh, team sorry, Anderson. all the way to Anderson. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, she day, uh, team Anderson was able to take another one, uh, steal a point in the second. They now lead 2 nothing over Sweeping Beauty and the Beasts. Caleb Clawson. Looks like he'll be putting it just inside the rings. Just a biter. Yeah. Uh, Red now sitting one, but completely exposed. And John Noble calling for his second Joe to uh, hit and roll to the right. Uh, looking to get behind the cover of that uh, center guard. This looks pretty good. They should be able to uh, hit this on the inside. But a little bit too much roll, unfortunately. And Richard's able to sweep that out of play. Richard now looking to peel away that uh, center guard. Super staying close. Now they're jumping onto it. And a good solid hit. They roll the sweeper off to the side. It's still in play, but not in the rings. We have a uh, clean sheet now. Matt Gallegos now in the house. So we run this very quickly. They want to put this right on the center line. And it's going to roll across the line. Richard will push that as far back as he can. Looks like it's going to stick around full 12 in the back. But a lot of options here.
Now Caleb's older brother, Hunter Clawson. Ready for his first shot. Off it goes. These are two very evenly matched teams. Yeah. Uh, very few mistakes. I think we've had one flash, another very nice hit, and rolls out. Uh, both very technically proficient uh, teams. Yes, we joke about Matt Gallegos and his, uh, well, let's be real, his Easter Bunny outfit. <laughs> But uh, he is a very solid curler. I remember seeing him, in, seeing him at the uh, the Dykes this year. He was able to, I believe he made an event finals, if I remember correctly. And he will draw that just past the button, uh, sitting full four. Uh, Yelly not sitting one, but Richard saying, I don't like that stone. I want it out of there. Hunter more than willing to oblige. A uh, quick update on sheet D. Uh, Team Dobbs, CCVA, was able to steal one in the second. They now lead 2-0 over the Hackettes. Sweepers on this pretty hard. They want to make sure they hold that line. And looks like they're doing a good job. Uh, shooter will roll out, though. So once again, we're back to a clean sheet. We're now moving on to Skip Stones. Uh, John Noble coming down the ice, getting ready for his first stone. With this hit game, there is a very real shot we could have a blank end here. John's first shot is away. <laughs> Looks to be a pretty solid draw. Maybe a little heavier than you'd like, but it should stick around no problem. Unless Richard has something to say about it. Nope, it is going to sit back 12. Apologies, slight yeah. technical difficulties. Yeah. We'll get that feedback to you f uh, uh, in a moment. We need to wait till tomorrow. Does it stop it? Mm. There we go. There we go. Thank you very much. <laughs> My apologies for that. Richard looking to uh, just come right down to that yellow stone. It's already in the back, so it won't take too much uh, strength to knock it out. May have come out a little wide there. Going to need some curl. And it looks like it's going to be a good hit, and shooter will roll out. So job accomplished. It's clear Chin playing for the blank end here, looking to maintain control of the hammer. John Noble coming down with his last shot of the end. Looking for another draw. <laughs> yeah. 
And it's going to go a little too far, I think. Richard able to push that out. So the choice is Richard's. Will he throw through and blank the end, or will he just take his one? It looks like he is more interested in maintaining control of the hammer. <laughs> Big thank you to all 31 viewers. Uh, please tell your friends. <laughs> Richard giving that a, a nice shove. Caleb cleaning, making sure nothing weird happens to the rock. And this is going to be a blank end. So no score on the third in the third end, uh, but Team Chin maintains control of the hammer. And after three, we are still tied two to two. Uh, quick update on Sheet C. Uh, Team Broom Shooter 2, that's out of Columbus, skipped by TJ Burkett, uh, was able to take one in the third. Uh, they now trail 6-1 to one, uh, against Team Hamilton from CCVI. And we'll get you the other uh, scores as they come up. Dave Wagenheim now with his first stone, the first stone of the fourth end. Looking to put this right on the center line, and it looks like a solid guard. <laughs> Tough to be better than that. Do you mind switching the cameras for me again? Oh, yeah. Sure. Anybody out in the chat room, can you let us know if you can hear us all right? I just want to adjust something. I want to make sure you can still hear us. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, first shot coming in for Eva Chin, looking for the corner guard, and looks like she's going to get it. Now setting up for his second shot, uh, looking to draw behind their center guard. They started out a bit narrow, but he pushed out wide. Let's see if that compensation was enough. Starting to curl now. Richard looking to push that out of the rings. And yes, it's out of play. Richard now calling for a draw behind his own guard. Here it comes, starting to move quite a bit now. Ice is getting more and more, getting more and more curl into it. This is going to be a little deeper than they'd like. Yeah, the line was good, but the weight just a little too much, out of play. Joe Pinella in the hack now, ready for his first shot. Uh, quick update over on sheet D. The hackheads from Triangle were able to take one of the third. Uh, they now trail Team Dobbs two to one. Uh, they're in the fourth end. Joe's first shot is away. Looking for that draw behind again. And they're definitely around the guard. Let's see how deep they go. Yeah. 
bringing it all the way down to touching the back four. Uh, fortunately, it's still wide open. Richard saying, let's get rid of it. Yes, Richard is the defending champion here, and he trusts the uh, he trusts his both his second and his vice implicitly when it comes to hits. And with good reason. It's a nice hit by Caleb. Uh, shooter rolls out though. It's oh, it's close. From my angle, it looks like they're just hanging over. Uh, can we get the... It's hard to tell. It, it is very hard to tell. Um, but John Noble believes that it is in the rings, and he's saying, I don't want it in the rings. I want it out. Asking Joe for another hit. Shot coming down the ice. Everyone seems pretty happy with this. Just hitting the uh, the red rock. Richard able to sweep that out of play. And we're back to a clean house. Richard looking to once again draw behind its corner guard. This time using Caleb Clawson. Uh, instead they went for a peel and just able to get that center guard out out of play. Shooter rolls out as well, so the only stone currently in play is the uh, the red corner guard. <laughs> Matt Gallegos in the hack now. Discussing with his skip where he wants to put it. Looks like John is calling for a simple draw to the button. But with Potomac Ice, nothing is ever really simple. Looks like he came up out a bit narrow and then forced it wide a little bit. Dave and Joe working hard trying to get it on into the house. And it will just make it into the house. Good sweeping all the way around. Uh, they'll bring it mostly into the eight foot. Now Hunter Clausen. Looking for the hit again. And it's going to be a, a nice hit. Rolling off to the left. Will they be able to keep it in play? Yes, they will. Nice rolling over by Eva. The shot is mostly covered, I'd say. I'd say about a third is sticking out, uh, but it is certainly accessible from the inside. Looks like they're just going to crash on the guard, but 
able to slide over across the house. Richard able to sweep it out of play. So red still sitting one. Uh, apologies to the chat. We cannot get sheet D right now. Uh, our camera is only so wide. <laughs> um, but we will continue to provide you with uh, periodic updates. And speaking of updates, uh, sheet A uh, is another steal for one from Team Anderson. Uh, they now lead 3 0 uh, over Sweeping Beauty and the Beasts. Uh, Hunter's second stone. They're working very hard on this, trying to get it into the house. It's going to be close. And yes, they were able to get it on. Very nice sweep job. Richard makes sure to uh, give some love to his team. So I think Hunter knows he got, got away with one a little bit there. John heading on down. Looks like he'll be... Uh, calling for a hit on the stone that was just thrown uh, that's in the top 12. I believe that's second shot though. It's it's close. It up here, yeah. Yes, the the shot they're going or the stone they're going after is definitely second shot. They very nice sweep there from uh, from Dave. He was able to hold that line, uh, take out that shot rock. Shooter did roll out, though. So Red's still sitting one. And Richard, I believe, looking to split the house again. He's able to split. He'll force uh, he'll force John to either draw or hit one out and concede a deuce. Richard's first shot is away. Caleb staying close, keeping an eye on it. I think they'd like to curl a little bit more, but Matt going to work hard and try to get this out of there. And he is able to do so. Good sweeping by the bunny. And that unforced error is going to allow John Noble a chance to hit here and force either a single or a blank once again. Shot is away. Dave once again shepherding it down. Shot looks like it's going to be pretty solid. Uh, straight nose hit. Slight rollover. So now, once again, the question for Richard is, do you hit and take your one but concede the hammer? Or do you uh, roll out and uh, blank it? I imagine that uh, Richard prides, or prizes the, uh, the hammer much more than he does a single point.
Shots away. Sweeper's on it very hard, and it's going to be a nose hit. They roll it to the left, but not able to get it out. Uh, so it will be one point to red. Uh, so they take the lead, three to two. Uh, however, they do pass the hammer over to yellow for the fifth end. Uh, switching the cameras for me? Yes, I can. Thank you. <laughs> Not 100% sure yet, but on sheet C, I believe there was another multiple point score for Team Hamilton. So we'll keep an eye on that game as it develops. On sheet C, I think it was two. Okay. So if if it was indeed two, that would make the score eight to one in favor of Hamilton. Yeah. Oi. Uh, Eva Chin's first stone, first stone of the fifth end. Looks to be on the center line. Will it come into the house? Not quite. A very nice center guard. Now, Dave Wagenheim. Looking for the corner guard. I think they feel it's a bit light. Sweepers came on onto it immediately. They're working on it hard. Will they be able to get it over the hog line? Yes, they will. They're able to drag it. A decent amount. Yeah. Good job by the sweepers. Eva readying her second shot, looking to draw behind her red guard. It's moving. Looks like it'll be around the red guard, but it might be a little too hot. And John is able to shepherd that out of play. It was uh, three for Team Hamilton on sheet C. Three. So the score is now nine to one in favor of Team Hamilton over Broom Shooter 2. Thank you very much. Yeah. Dave coming out with his second shot looking to draw behind their corner guard. Oh. Oh, that's my apologies. Uh, we were just informed that I have been reading their order wrong. Uh, they uh, apparently Ardsley uh, switched their order, and it is Joe that is uh, throwing lead and Dave that's throwing second, right? The gentleman in black is throwing second. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah Matt's, Matt, the Easter Bunny, is definitely vice. Okay. So it's Joe and then Dave? Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, that draw... Looking pretty darn good from uh, Hunter Clausen. Sitting in the uh, the back four. And almost, if not completely, covered by that red guard. It is slightly behind the, uh, the T, though. So looks like John is going to ask Dave to, uh, to come down and uh, sit on it. Quite frankly, a, a nice change of pace from the uh, the hit game we've had for the past few ends. Sweepers following it down the ice. It's 
going to need to curl a bit. It's well around the guard, but I think it's going to be exposed unless it finishes very hard. Ah, there it goes. Very nice shot. Only a few inches of separation there. It's going to be really tough for uh, for Richard Chin and his team to get it out. Caleb Clawson now setting up in the hack, and I think they're just going to follow them down and stack it up. Caleb's taking the jacket off. That means now you know he, need, he means business. <laughs> Sweeper's trying to hold this, making sure that it uh, doesn't crash on that red center guard. They're going to have to work on it quite a bit, though. It's going to be close. Uh, no, it's just going to be a tap on the red guard, uh, effectively blocking up that lane. So yellow's still sitting one. John now asking Dave whether he would prefer to draw behind the yellows or the reds. Looks like they're going to go uh, behind the reds. Try to uh, get their shot rock a partner. Mm, with, that, with that ice, I wonder if that's not enough ice. You got to make sure they're around the yellow guard. Doesn't look like it's a problem, but now we've got to make sure they're around the reds. Very nice shot. Oh, beautiful. It's going to come right down to it. Push the oh, push the yellow oh. back though. It's a bit of a tough break. It looks like red has now taken over shot rock. It's very close, but I would say red's got it for now. Uh, flanked on either end. And now I imagine Richard's priority is to protect that shot rock, uh, get rid of that uh, draw path. It was a really, really nice shot by Dave, but unfortunately just a bit too hot. Maybe what, 0 0.05 of a second too heavy. While they discuss, let's do. Let's take a quick spin around. Uh, sheet A has, I believe, they're still finishing up their fourth end. Um, again, sheet B, uh, it's currently uh, three to two in favor of Team Chin from Potomac. Sheet C, uh, Team Hamilton from CCVA has a commanding nine to one lead over Columbus. And on sheet D, uh, in the in the fifth end. Uh, Team Dobbs currently leads three to one over the Hackheads from Triangle. Again, these are the finals of the Cherry Blossom Bond Spiel. We're coming to you from the Potomac Curling Club in beautiful downtown Laurel, Maryland. My name is Steve Coltonbaugh, alongside Heather Schulke. Thank you very much for joining us. Not 100% sure what the discussion is here. It seems they've got it all sorted out. Trying to figure exactly what the right draw path is. As Hunter makes his way back down the ice. With that set up, it looks like they're going to go for another draw. Uh, going to I don't think they're going to try to plug up that path. I think they're going to go right down into it. That's light, though. I think they're going to get a guard re uh, regardless. No, it's through. It's a little heavy. They're going to push theirs back. So they're sitting one again. 
Uh, and that shot rock has plenty of backing. It will be extremely tough to get rid of it. And it looks like John Noble is now calling for appeal, looking to get rid of at least one of those, uh, at least one of those red guards. Matt Gallegos has pulled the bunny ears back down. I guess he was getting a little too much drag. Yeah. And it looks like he's able to split off one of the guards. Uh, not a bad shot. Certainly uh, does the trick. I was able to get both of them. Mm -hmm. Is that the, the redstone rolled? Yeah, in? it rolled right there. Ah, um, yes. Into the eight foot. So. Okay, so red still. Mm, they're definitely know. sitting one. I can't quite tell if they're sitting two or not. Mm. Uh, depending on things. Honestly, I think there's a shot to get both of those yellows out. If you hit on the right side of that shot rock, uh, you should be able to jam the yellow out and then bounce off to the right and hit the other yellow out. The question is, does Richard want to play that now with his young gun hunter? Super's on this very quickly, trying to hold that line. This is more draw weight than anything else. Very nice. nice. Just to the right of that second stone. Uh, now red certainly sitting one, two, and I would say it's a measurement for three. Uh, now choices for John Noble. It looks like it looks like he wants to once again split up those two reds. Uh, if he's able to come at it with a good amount of weight, he should be able to split them all the way out. Uh, the red on the right may jam, depending on how the angle goes. But really the key is to get them as far away from where they are as possible. Uh, with that little bit of separation, that, uh, that shot rock if those red stones are gone, would be available. Matt Gallegos, back in the hack. John set up for the hit. Shot is away. Super on this very quickly. Now backing off. Just trying to fine tune it, trying to get both of them. And they get one, and they're able to actually hit the shot rock, push it back. I think there was a burn there, is that right? Didn't quite see what happened there. I believe someone back there burned a rock. So they're trying to square away exactly what happened. Even so, it was a very, very nice shot from Matt. If this is how it's gonna, if this is how it's set up right now, I'd say red is sitting one, maybe two, depending on millimeters. Our camera isn't exactly above the center line, or isn't exactly above the uh, the button, so our angle can be a little tricky. And I believe they're a little fish-eyed as well. So. Ah, yes.
So there are certainly options here um, with no guards up in the center. All, nearly all of these stones are ripe for the picking. The question is, what will Richard go after? Oh my, a quick reversal of fortune over on sheet A. Um, team Anderson had taken one in the first three ends. Sweeping Beauty and the Beast, another Potomac team, came back and took five in the fourth. They now lead five to three after four ends. So well done to Bob Purcell and his team for that end. Let's see if they can hold on to it. Richard taking quite a long time discussing this with uh, with Hunter Clausen. Finally, he comes down the ice. Let's see what they decide to do. Hunter set up on the right side of the ice. We're not sure. They may be looking to draw into the forefoot. Yeah, it looks like a draw. He may be a little more narrow than he was hoping. But so far they like it. They're not sweeping. It looks like it's going to go right into the port. Get around and just just brush by the f the uh, the yellow rock, providing a nice little basket for anything that wants to come in there. Uh, red's still sitting one, so a good shot, but I don't think it's quite what Richard was hoping for. Now John and Matt trying to uh, decide how they want to attack this house. There's a lot of possibilities here. But it's a, a big question. Are you, do you want to go after that shot rock? Do you want to draw to the forefoot yourself? There are a lot of options. John's come down the ice now, discussing with his front end exactly what he'd like. Matt set up just on the right side of everything. John asking for a little more ice, not too, too much. If I had to guess, I'd say he's going to try to draw down to that red rock that is on the left side of that uh, little basket. No, that's more of a hit. This is interesting. Sweeper holding it around everything. And, oh, lots of action. Able to take out a red and a yellow. Uh, red still sitting one. Possibly two. Wow. That was a great <laughs> oh, this is interesting. It looks like on sheet C, uh, Broom Shooter 2, the Columbus team, was able to take three in the fifth. So looking to try to mount a comeback, they now trail nine to four. A 
very nice uh, hammer by uh, Columbus. Was able to get them that three. That's uh, TJ Burkett there, the skip. In the meantime, Richard Chin still discussing with Hunter Clausen how he'd like to attack this house. I'd say there's a possibility for a double there. Yeah, you'd have to hit it really thin on the, uh, what I presume is either the second or the third stone. It's a tough angle. I'm not sure if I'd go for it. I think I would probably try to push that yellow stone back instead. The uh, That's either second or third. Or perhaps just sit on it. Because you'd really only have to move it an inch or two to make sure you got second shot. And third. Richard in the hack now for his last stone of the end. Caleb on it immediately, and Ava joining him. Eva joining him. I think he was a bit lighter than he'd like. Going to have to ride the curl now. They're sweeping all the way. Trying to make sure it's going to count. Working very hard at this. They've got it into the forefoot, and they've got it touching the button. Very nice. So red now sitting at least two, if not three. Uh, however, yellow does have the hammer. This is the last rock of the end. <laughs> yes, Richard making solid use of his sweepers there. John and Matt discussing how best to attack this uh, this hammer shot. If they're able to hit on the uh, on the right side of this shot stone, they may be able to take out that second stone as well. Perhaps that may be the plan. They could also very easily jam on a yellow rock, uh, leaving God knows what's going to happen. John getting into the hack now. And the hammer is away. I think he may be a bit narrow. We'll see how it goes. Nope, not a lot of curl there. He gets one, jams on the yellow, shooter rolls out, and it's going to be three red. Three red. Oh, a steal of three. That is a tough break for Team Noble. That's not what he wanted at all. So after five ends now, uh, the score is Team Chin six, Team Noble two. Can I switch in my cameras over oh, for me? Oh, yes. Yes, and a, and a game that has been this close, a mistake like that could be a killer. Uh, in the meantime, on sheet D, looks like the Hackheads uh, from Triangle have taken another one in the fifth. They now trail Team Dobbs 3-2. to two. Uh, Very close game over there. And we will get you an update on sheet A as it becomes available. Uh, most recently, it was 5-3. to three uh, sweeping Beauty and the Beast. Clawson Brothers bringing Eva Chin's first stone into the house. It uh, looks like it'll be just touching the button. Good first effort. John Noble calling for uh, Joe Pinella to take that out. Looks a bit on the narrow side. Uh, sweepers looking to, oh no, it's going the other way. My apologies. I, th I 
he had set up next to the uh, the stone. I assumed he was calling a hit. Instead, it's a corner guard, and a fine one at that. Eva coming down now for her second shot. Clawson brothers shepherding it down the ice. Now Caleb working it. Both of them finishing it off and it is just in front of the shot stone. Uh, looks like full eight. Here is the uh, second shot for Joe Pinella. Looking for the draw behind. Draw behind that yellow uh, corner guard. Uh, no, it's going to come up short, though. Instead, it's going to be a center guard. So those red stones still counting, uh, still fairly wide open. Uh, Richard now calling for a peel of that center guard. And he says, hey, if we can hit that other guard as well, so much the better. Caleb's uh, first stone of the end. He's definitely got one. Will he get two? There's one, just one. Other stone rolls out of the way. The corner guard stays put. Caleb is part of our uh, reigning Thursday League uh, champions. They do hold our championship belt, which I'm proud to say they brought to Nationals. getting to the point where we can have an entire team of Colossans because their youngest brother, Eli, is no slouch himself. Here's Dave Wagen Wagenheim's uh, first shot of the end, looking to draw around that uh, yellow corner guard. Sweeper's on it, trying to make sure it doesn't crash on the guard, and I'm not sure they're going to be successful. Just going to tick over, uh, pushing that guard, I believe, into the house, and it looks like they were able to split it on. It is just barely, uh, the front one is just barely touching. I'm not 100% sure about the other one. I, I would say that they're both on. Uh, Richard, however, is more interested in getting that front stone out. Caleb's second shot. This looks to be a no sweat for one. Straight nose hit. Red still sitting two. Now with a guard up. Will John go after those shot rocks first? Yes, they will. Uh, looking to hit that front stone and flop over to the right behind the uh, guards. Um, just off center here, I think we'll, uh, we'll get him where he wants to go. John holding them off on the sweep for now. Liking how it's going. He's saying it's going to roll to the right. They were able to take one, and Shooter will roll out of play. So Red now sitting one. 
Looks like Richard is going to call for... It looks like he, he wants to run that red guard back into the yellow, back into the right, um, hoping that the shooter will spill in and have the, the guard spill in as well. It's a difficult shot, but Hunter can make it. Now coming, uh, Caleb coming down to make sure that he and Richard are on the same page. Here's Hunter's first shot. Sweeping on it quickly. They get one, but unfortunately they didn't have the right angle. Uh, only pushing out their, uh, their guard, and I'm not sure if that shot's gonna be available to them again. John now calling for a hit on the shot rock. hoping to flop just a little bit to the left, uh, trying to get behind that uh, center guard. Matt discussing things with uh, with the skip. Now hippity hopping back down to the ice. I'm trying to be remotely professional and not, that n not make that many jokes about the Easter Bunny costume, but my God, he makes it so easy. A happy Easter to you if you are celebrating. Uh, we wish you all well. Matt shot is away. And it's a light it's a light hit. They may be looking only to push back, and I don't think they've got enough. They're going to have to sweep this just to get to the tee. They're around the guards. Oh, no, they're not. They crash on the guard. They bring it as far as they can, but it is falling short of the forefoot. It's fairly open. Now Richard has to decide what he wants to do. It's helping protect that shot rock, but uh, it's also very easy to hit that and jam out the, uh, the the red shot. So it looks like he's going to go after it, uh, come from the inside, and kick it back out into the left. Hunter's Claussen second shot away. Sweeper's on it very quickly. Looks like he's got the line for it, though. Going to try to roll this over to the left, and Shooter will spill out, but as so does the target rock. Red now sitting one again. John going to, looks like he's going to try that same shot again. Again, this looks a bit light. Right, looks like it's just going to come down to that shot rock. They're going to push it as far as they can. Uh, they've pushed behind the T-line, prepping it for perhaps a, another shot down the road. Richard now calling for a hit on the Yellowstone that was just thrown. Trying to sit two, if he can. If he's able to just nose this, uh, it'll create some good uh, some good protection for that shot rock.
Do you see? Do we have handshakes on sheet C? Yes, we do. And the final score was ten to four. Ten to four. So, uh, Team Hamilton from the Curling Club of Virginia takes it over uh, Broom Shooter Two of Columbus. Uh, well done to Team Hamilton. That was the B event finals, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, Richard's shot able to take out uh, the Yellowstone and roll behind cover. It will be very tough to get uh, get at those shot rocks now. Looks like instead they're going to try to sit on that shot rock. Um, there's a little bit of a, uh, a basket there. An Easter basket, if you will. There we go. <laughs> See, you want puns? I can do puns. All right, excellent. <laughs> Amazingly, this is not the weirdest thing I've ever seen Matt Gallego curl in. <laughs> Last year, he was a, uh, at Trop Girl. He was in a tank top and booty shorts. Okay, there you go. Somebody mentioned that earlier in the uh, warm yes, room. Yes, Katie, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was uh, terrifying to behold. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Kovach uh, saying, it was terrifying to behold, and I wholeheartedly agree. Yeah, I think it'd be very cold. <laughs> uh, the shot is away from John Noble. It might be a bit light. Uh, they're they're sweeping this. Just they don't want to push anything back too far, but they need it as close to the button as they can get. And they've dropped it right in between the two reds. Very nice shot. Uh, yellow now sitting one. It's going to be very very tough to remove that. Not sure how Richard is going to attack this. If he will try to push back, or if he will try to do a long run back. It looks like they're just going to try to. It looks like they're going to try a heavy draw uh, and just push that yellow back. Uh, try to follow them down, hit it fairly thin on the outside, make sure they don't jam on their red rock. If they're able to push it out of the forefoot, they would then be sitting three. Sweepers on this. I'm afraid of lost track. Next shot is hammer, yes? Yes. Okay. Bringing it all the way down, and it's just going to push the yellow shot back. Uh, sit pretty much bang on the button. So red now is sitting one. Uh, yellow is definitely second shot. And yellow does have hammer. This is the last shot of the end. So now John trying to figure out perhaps the best way to possibly get two. Uh, if you could get to the nose of that shot rock, and really it would have to be the nose, you could tick out those two. Uh, you could you could tick out the, uh, the one in the back as well. But yeah, you have to get to the nose or even to the inside because yellow is uh, second rock. It's a tough shot with that red guard up there, but we'll see if they're able to do it. They would only need to push the shot rock out of the forefoot. John getting in the hack, preparing for his hammer. And the last stone of the sixth end is away. Sweepers are holding off on it for now, letting it curl, making sure it's getting around that red guard. Matt watching like a hawk. It's looking a bit soft. 
I'm not sure it's going to get to the inside like they were hoping. And no. instead, they're pushing out. Oh, no. Instead, they've rolled out, and it's three red. They rolled their sh They rolled the uh, the yellow shot out. Shooter rolled away. And they're going to be calling it. John Noble uh, conceding victory with another three. And that means that Richard Chin is a back-to-back -back cherry blossom champion. Wow. Very well done. Yeah. Uh, Richard Chin, Hunter, Hunter Clausen, Caleb Clausen, and Eva Chin. Uh, they are your Cherry Blossom champions. Uh, congratulations to them. And a very well-fought match by John Noble and the Artsley team, Matt Gallegos, Dave Wagenheim, and Joe Pinella. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and switch you over. Um, let's see. What do you think, A or D? They're both one-point games. Yeah. Um, guess we had a request for D earlier. We did have a request for D, so let's swing you over to D. Uh, uh, do you mind grabbing the cameras for yep. me up there? Thanks. Uh, D far? Yeah. Yeah. So we're swinging you over. Uh, this is sheet D is the Hackheads from Triangle, and t uh, they're with the Yellowstones. And Team Dobbs from CCVA, they're playing the Red Rocks. Uh, good <laughs> round of applause for the players on A. Uh, as of right now, um, the Hackheads have the lead after six. Uh, they're up by one, four to three. Let's see, how's that? Ha uh, how's the house looking right now? Ah, thank you. Uh, Red currently sitting shot in the seventh end. And they are, looks like on seconds rocks. Uh, you see Scott Burke there in the hack. Uh, Christine Alessi and Doug Chalmers, uh, his uh, his sweepers for now, and Michael Dobbs in the hack, skipping. They're looking to, looks like they're going to try to get to this yellow rock in the back. It's going to come up a little short. I think they're just drawing in now. Just in front of the house. Now it's uh looks like it's going to be Patrick Rabinold in the hack as he pushes out. Uh, he is the second for the hackheads. Uh, the lead Amy Hobby, Vice Mike Mills, and Lance Wright is the skip. Oh, they crash on their own guard. That is a tough break. Shooter rolls out and guard pushes back. So red's still sitting one. Dubs feverishly working out how to get multiple points from this end. He does have the hammer. Second shot from Scott Burke is away. Super's on this very quickly. It's moving quite a bit. We'll see if they're able to get around those guards. It looks like they're able to. Mm, looks like they're falling short. Yeah. Just plugging things up now. Um, taking away a draw path or a, a hit path. Now Lance Wright trying to figure out his options. Had a nice chat with uh, Lance earlier. He's uh, he apparently runs the AV for all of Triangle. Oh wow, cool! So he's got a. It sounds like a pretty nice setup down there. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen theirs, but what's that? I've never seen theirs, but uh. neither have I. But it it sounds nice. Yeah. Uh, big hello to anyone watching uh, down in North Carolina. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. That's, uh, I believe, Patrick Rabinold's uh, second shot, if I had that right. Able to put that on the right side of the house. 
Now Doug Chalmers in the hack for his first stone at the end. Uh, over on sheet A, really quickly, um, Team Anderson was able to take one in the fifth. They now trail five to four. Uh, against Sweeping Beauty and the Beasts. And all, again, all five of those uh, Sweeping Beauty points came in the fourth end. <laughs> so sometimes you just need some crooked numbers up there. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a decent shot there. Uh, lots of good action on that shot. Uh, Mike Mills in the hack now. His shot coming down the ice. Looks like he's going to try to draw around those yellow guards. And he's able to get around one, get around two, get around everything and through. Ah, uh, it's a tough break. He had the line, but maybe a little too much weight. Doug back in the hack. <laughs> Looking to figure out the best way to draw in. He's going to come from the right side, the side closest to the wall. It's tough. Uh, the ice tends to grab the stones over there, not, uh, not let it curl that much. We'll see if he's able to coax anything out of it. He's got a fair amount of curl there, but unfortunately it looks like he is also a bit heavy. And Lance Wright able to sweep that out of play. So Red's still sitting one. Update on sheet, sheet A, please. Why were people clapping? Uh, sure, people were clapping because uh, the teams from sheet B were coming off the ice, uh, our A event finals. Um, on sheet A, it is uh, five to four in favor of Sweeping Beauty and the Beast playing the Yellowstones. Uh, again, they got all five of their points in the fourth end. Uh, she, um, team Anderson, the playing the Redstones, it's a Potomac Broomstones team. Uh, they have taken singles in the first, second, third, and fifth ends, but unfortunately still trail. Lance now coming down the ice, getting ready for, I believe, his first shot. They're on skip stones now. Looks like they're going to try that draw again. They're sweeping on it quite a bit. I guess they don't, they thought it was a bit light. And now the vice coming out as well, trying to get it as close as they can to the button and they're only able to get it mostly onto the 12 foot. Now blocking up that draw path. It's gonna make it very tough. Now Michael Dobbs trying to uh, figure out exactly what he'd like to do. A lot of options here. Uh, perhaps there's a little, uh, perhaps there's a draw path on the left side as well, but it looks like they're gonna keep going for that right side. Try to perhaps block up an angle raise or two. Dobbs in the hack now. And the shot is away. Sweeper's jogging behind it. Now starting the sweep. Scott trying to bring it over to the left a little bit. 
looking to come down and knock one of those yellow stones. And they do so, Roll, rolling in. A very nice, nice shot, shot from Dobbs. Putting it dang near on the button and jamming right up next to his red stone. Red now sitting two, and I'm not sure if there's any separation between those two stones. Yeah, it's hard to tell, but it doesn't look like it. From our view, it's millimeters if it's anything. Uh, now Lance is going to have to uh, try to come from the left side, I think. Michael Dobbs has really been on his game today. I commentated his uh, his semifinal match earlier today, yeah. and he made a number of very clutch shots. Uh, quick update on sheet A, they're on the hammer in the sixth end. Uh, Bob Purcell is drawing for two. Needs uh, needs to touch the eight foot to get his deuce and take a three point lead. His sweepers are on it. It may be a bit light though. But no, they're able to drag it in. And it is two yellow over there. So Sweeping Beauty and the Beast uh, now take a three-point lead. In the meantime, over on sheet D. <laughs> ah, yellow was able to push that red second stone back. Uh, red still sitting shot. But can we take a look at the house, please? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, red's still sitting two. But yellow definitely threatening. There may be a shot there with their hammer. Oh, except it's red's hammer. Mm. Oh, dear. Well, in that case, red's sitting two, and they have a chance to draw for three. I suppose if they were able to pull a double off, they would be getting four if they stuck around. It looks like that uh, shot on the far left side is would be next. Mm -hmm. Let's see how risky uh, Dobbs is feeling. That's not a hit weight. That's not a hit weight at all. He's looking to draw. Go for three. He has to touch the forefoot for his tray. Looking to make sure they're around the guards, and they are. But it looks like he's going to be just outside. Yeah. That's a tough break, and it looks like it is still going to be too red from our vantage point. It's close, though, for that second stone. He needed a little bit less ice, I think. They've pulled away the shot rock. It's very close. They're leaving those two on. They may be going to me to measure. Yeah, somebody's going over for the tool. Yes, we will have a measurement on sheet D. Uh, it's definitely going to be one point for Michael Dobbs. The question is, is it two? Um, so as of right now, with one point, uh, the score is tied going into the eighth end. If it ends up being two, then uh, Dobbs would take a one-point lead. So Lance Wright would be down one, but have the hammer. Either way, this is shaping up to be a very, very interesting eighth end. I think they're starting to smell quite good. <laughs> yep. Well, let's see how it goes. And 
And it looks like it will be red. It's two red, two for Michael Dobbs. So they will take one, or they will take a one-point lead going into the eighth end. Uh, they currently lead six to f or five to four. However, yellow does have the last shot now. They have the hammer. Unfortunately, I have to sign off now, so I'll hand it over to you. Oh, okay. So thank you for following. All right, Good thank afternoon. you, Heather. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> Slide over a bit here. Uh, pardon me, we're just switching out operators. Here's the first shot of the eighth end. Looks to be a solid center guard. Now here is Amy Hobby with her first stone. The lead for Team Wright. It's gonna be close. They'll be able to get it over the hog line and about parallel with uh, the red stone, a good corner guard. Uh, big thank you to all 30 people watching right now. We thank you for not only watching now, but watching this entire weekend. It's been a lot of fun. Looks like it's going to be a nice draw behind, but I think it might be a little too hot. Lance is able to push that out. Next shot is away. And it looks like this draw is going to stick around. Yes, just sitting, uh, biting the top four. Dobbs now calling to sit on it. Looking for Scott Burke to thread the needle a little bit. It'll be close. It looks like it's going to get through. But will it stick around? Yes, it will. A nice little tap back, putting the, uh, the yellow stone just next to the button. Uh, red stone sitting on the center line, uh, top eight. Uh, very nice shot, exactly what Dobbs asked for. And setting up now just outside the forefoot. Here is Patrick Rabinold with, I believe, his first shot. Maybe second. And driving the red in and it will get out of play. So yellow is still sitting one.
Yellow sitting one, and there are two yellow guards in front. Dobbs has to try to figure out the best way to get at that shot stone. It'll be tough to run it, run that red back with uh, the two guards in play. Uh, it's a bit exposed though, so he could uh, choose to merely go after it from the outside and stones away from Scott Burke. Looks like it's gonna be a draw instead. Uh, it's just coming up light. It's crashing onto the guard. Opens things up a little bit. Uh, allows for the run back if they choose. Instead, it looks like Lance is going to go for another draw. Uh, here is Mike Mills, the vice. Shot coming down, he's going to peel away that guard. It's a good choice, uh, taking out that run back. However, it now leaves the redstone open and available. Uh, looks like Dobbs is going to try to draw around it again. Uh, perhaps a heavy draw, try to push that Yellowstone out. Doug Chalmers coming down. Super's on this quickly. Looking to making sure it's getting around the guards. It does so. It just taps the red up, but not enough to get the red out, or not enough to get the yellow out. Um, well, it would set up a run back. Lance now looking to sit right in front of that, uh, that red-yellow combination. Mike with his second uh, rock of the end. Patrick working hard at this. Looking to just sit down on it. And instead it's going to push back. Dobbs is able to roll that out into the back eight. Uh, Red is now sitting one. Uh, he's reasonably exposed. Uh, Red's definitely first. I'd say yellow is two and three. So it looks like Dobbs now is going to try to block the run back. Calling on Doug to draw. So looks like it's coming in pretty soft. It's just going to be touching. And yep, coming right up to that uh, that front red in the house. Uh, red still sitting one, blocking block that uh, block that run back a little bit. Uh, however, you could just slam red, yellow, red. Lance does have options. I remember they only need. They need one to tie, uh, Team Wright does. They need one to tie and two to win. Here's Mike's second rock. Super's on this very quickly. <laughs> they are going for that, uh, that multiple run back. Oh, instead they crash on the guard. That's a tough break. So lots of options available for 
Dobbs and his CCVA team. They are sitting shot, and it may behoove them to try to protect that shot rock. Uh, it's fairly wide open from the outside, so I would consider guarding that up as best they could, perhaps uh, staggering a red rock on top there to try to block a the, the planned run back. That would be interesting if I'm reading his body language correctly. He's considering a tap up on the uh, red rock on the far right of the house. Well, the to the right of the center line. Um, just a little tap to try to drive it closer to the button and uh, put a lot of protection there. If he were able to pull that off, that would be a very, very good shot. It would block run backs. It would block a lot of options for Lance Wright. So he would need probably T-line weight, maybe a little bit more, uh, and hit that rock right on the outside, uh, but not, hopefully not jam on that shot stone. Dobbs has been pretty darn good today. We'll see if he's able to pull it off. Uh, quick update. It looks like on sheet A, uh, the red team, Team Anderson, is currently sitting one. Uh, I believe they're on Skip's Rocks. Scott sweeping now, trying to get to that rock. Instead, they push it, they crash on the uh, front red and just nudge the red rock up that they were, oming, that they were aiming for. Uh, red's still sitting one. And mm, judging by those angles, I'm no mathematician, but it would be very tough to get that red out, that red shot rock without jamming on the yellow if they were trying to play the run back. <coughs> it looks like they're going to try to heavy draw from the outside. I think. This is a very, very tough angle all the way around. Again, yellow needs one to tie and two to win. Shots away. They're sweeping it hard. Looks like they're just trying to blow stuff up. And they do so. They're able to get one. They get the shot out. They got the ye back yellow out. And it looks like yellow is now sitting shot. Red is second and third, but currently it is one yellow. With one stone left apiece, it will be very interesting to see what the plan is. Looks like Dobbs is going to hit that yellow stone. And he's going to hit that yellow stone and try to protect the the top four. If it's a, a nose hit, I think that would be best. Shots away. It's 
It's going to be close. They get one, and that's it. Roll to the left, uh, leaving that forefoot very exposed. So now it's going to have to be a draw for one. Um, red is currently sitting one, two, three. There's no way to get all of them. So it's going to have to be... It, I would be shocked if they were able to pull this off. I don't think our, our rocks have that life in them. So it would have to be a... It would have to be a draw, touching four, to get one and move on to an extra end. Uh, in the meantime, over on sheet A, uh, Team Anderson was able to take one in the seventh. Uh, they now trail by three, I believe. They trail by two, I'm sorry. Uh, they trail seven to five to Sweeping Beauty and the Beast. Um, Sweeping Beauty, uh, skipped by Bob Purcell. They are up two, and they have the hammer. All right, back to our feature sheet, sheet D right now. Lance Wright making his way back down the ice as he prepares for his draw to the forefoot. If he makes this draw, we will have an extra end. Uh, bonus curling, always a fan. Otherwise, it will be a win for Michael Dobbs. Shots away. Sweeper's just following it. They're sweeping now. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be very close. And they tap. They roll, but I don't think it's enough. And we have handshakes. Michael Dobbs takes one in the eighth with the steal. Uh, he takes the victory over the Hackheads. A very close, very well-fought match. Uh, congratulations to Michael Dobbs, Doug Chalmers, Scott Burke, and Christina Lessi. They are your C event winners. Uh, and very well done by the Hackheads from Triangle Curling Club in North Carolina, Lance Wright, Mike Mills, Patrick Rabinold, and Amy Hobby. Uh, thank you so, so much for coming out. Uh, we're going to switch you over now to Sheet A, the only game left on the ice. There we go. And we are now in the eighth end. Uh, Bob Purcell in the uh, in the house, holding the room for his lead, Catherine Koslick. She is, of course, the sweeping beauty of the sweeping beauty and the beast. Nice round of applause there for the teams coming off of sheet D. A nice cheer for Dobbs, one of the uh, the fan favorites here. And that shot by Catherine Koslick going through the house. Looks like... Uh, they will be coming after the uh, that stone in the left. Uh, no, it's just, just going to be a draw in. If they can, they'll need to sweep it a little bit. And it's going to come up short. That's a tough break. They're, they need points. Uh, Team Anderson does. Let me get the names here for you. All right. This is Jeremy Vanden Houghton in the hack. He is the second for Sweeping Beauty. Uh, that's skipped by Bob Purcell. The vice is Henrique Kempinich. Second, Jeremy Vanden Houghton. Lead, Catherine Kozlik.
Oh, just flashing through. <laughs> I don't think they terribly mind that shot, though. Um, up two with the hammer. You want to keep things as clean as possible. Uh, now, Team Anderson, uh, coming back in the house. Uh, the lead is Jimmy Fallon. He's the uh, the one with the colorful red and white pants. Uh, the second is Kim Belf. Uh, I believe he's the one coming in from Broomstones. Uh, Vice is Brandon Morse, and the skip is Machine Gun Carl Anderson. Looking to draw in here. And I think it's going to be light again. They're going to need to. They're still protecting. There's a lot of red in front of the ha in front of the house, but none of it's in the house yet. Now Bob is looking to get rid of some of that red. They're outside the uh, the free guard zone now, so looking to clear out some of those red stones. Jeremy Vanden Houten in the hack. Uh, big thank you to those 19 viewers who are sticking with us. This is the final event on the ice. We are in the eighth end. Uh, yellow, er, I'm sorry, uh, red needs two to tie and three to win. They need to steal two to tie and steal three to win. And Jeremy Schott will clear one stone out and move another stone off to the side. <laughs> so yellow's still sitting one. This is, I believe this is Kim Belf. I think, I can't quite tell. They're looking for the draw. This looks a bit hot, though. And it's slung up, though, near the uh, near the wall. It's around all of the guards, and it is coming in a little too much. Bob working hard to sweep that out, and he will get it to the back four or to the back twelve. Uh, it is sitting second, and he immediately calls for a hit on that very same stone looking to run Team Anderson out of rocks. <laughs> Henrique Kempinich now, the, uh, the vice for Sweeping Beauty, decked out in his finest Brazilian gear. Sweeping this very hard, trying to make sure it stays on line. Don't want it to crash, and unfortunately it does crash on their yellow guard. That is a tough break. Now Carl needs to figure out what he can do to get more points. Having to steal two just to force a ties extraordinarily tough. You need to count on your opponent to slip up a little bit. Second shot is away. They're looking for the draw here. Uh, looking to come through that port. And it may be crashing on the guard again. No, they're able to get around. It's coming to the back four, just touching the button. Very nice. Red now sitting one. Uh, but Bob, again, wasting no time calling for the hit. If Henrique is able to get this hit, 
it will be nearly impossible for Carl to uh, to come back and get his two or three. Super's on this very quickly. Trying to hold this line. And they're around the guards. And it's a good solid hit. Yellow now sitting two. Uh, those two stones are nearly parallel to each other. Uh, impossible to get both of them out at the same time. Carl and Brandon deciding how they want to do things. I believe they're looking to push that yellow stone back that was just drawn in. This is the first skip stone for Team Anderson. We'll have one more. Super on this, just making sure that it's around those guards. You want to get as close to that red guard as possible without actually hitting. And that's a good hit. Able to push that yellow shot rock out. Red now sitting one. Uh, that yellow stone still sitting out there on the end. And Bob and Enrique once again calling for the hit there. If they make this hit, it will be just about curtains. <laughs> if they were able to, if they're able to nose this hit and stick around. Bob Purcell now in the hack. Shots away. They're not sweeping, so they must like the line. And it is, oh no, it's just a little wide. It flashes through. This is a big opportunity for Anderson now. You can see Bob definitely not happy with himself. So the question is, how does Carl want to play this? If he goes after that shot on the left, this is his last stone. So if he goes after that yellow stone on the left, he will, uh, he will be sitting three if he's able to stick around and basically force a draw to cut down. Uh, either that or he can draw himself and try to cut down the scoring area, uh, force a harder draw and go for the tie and, uh, and bonus curling bringing the rest of his team down now, uh, Jimmy Fallon and Kim Belf. They're discussing exactly what to do. They're discussing possible runbacks. They're discussing everything under the sun. I think it would be very, very tough to get to that yellow stone. Um, it's just, it's so far on the outside that you can't throw an out turn at it because of the uh, the yellow guard. And throwing an in turn on it, it may just hang on you. Uh, perhaps your best bet is to throw a missile at it and not let it curl at all. But even that's fraught with danger. All right, the front end heads on back. It looks like they are going to uh, come from the outside and go after this yellow stone. It's a, it's a tough shot, but if they're able to pull it off, they could be sitting three.
about that was almost three hours long. We played nine ends. Nine ends were done in what? Like ten minutes or fifteen minutes out of you? They played nine ends and were done in twenty minutes of work. Three minutes. All right. Carl Anderson. First of all, in the hack. Shots away. Shots away. They're sweeping on it now. Sweeping hard, trying to hold that line. Yo, it's going to be close. And it's a hit. Will they be able to roll out? No. A great shot, rolling behind cover. Carl Anderson now sitting three. So it's a... Bob Purcell has to draw against three. He only needs to cut them down to one. So it's basically touching, fo touching the forefoot. If he's able to touch the forefoot with this draw, he will take the win. Or failing that, he could, he could just uh, tap the re uh, tap the uh, front one back. It's all in how he feels. It looks like he's going to play for a heavy draw, uh, tap the red one back. This is going to be it. If he's able to uh, cut them down to one point, he'll take the victory. If he leaves two points on the table, it's a, it's a, uh, a tie game and we go to a ninth end. A miss would give the win to Anderson. Here we go, folks. Shots away. Staying off of it, it does look heavy. Oh. And it is just hitting one. He's going to stick around. A great shot by Bob Purcell. He's going to take one and the victory. Very well done. And a big congratulations from the opposite team. So that is Sweeping Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Bob Purcell, Henrique Kempenich, Jeremy Vandenhouten, and Catherine Koslick uh, taking the victory in our D event finals uh, over Team Anderson. Uh, very well played by Team Anderson as well. Carl Anderson, Brandon Morse, uh, Kim Belf, and Jimmy Fallon. It was very, very close all the way around. And with that, all of our games are completed. Thank you so, so much for watching. And uh, this has been the <laughs> annual Cherry Blossom Bond Spiel. My name has been Steve Kaltenbaugh. It's been my absolute pleasure to cast for you today. Have a great day. See you soon.